just be passionate about what you do because there'll be times when people doubt what mm. you're doing. So you just have to always keep reminding yourself what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. Tobago inspired me to do a swimmer line. Uh, I don't think they're gonna get me off the island. So, <laughs> so baby dropping for me, say rock and come me. And I and I picked the few that I liked. And this was my say, most this favorite one. It's gorgeous. And, and you know mine I have this is well. leather. We have real leather on it that oh. it's actually you can go in the water, it won't dry I'm up. Wondering. Also gonna be trying to put my stuff in some of the stores out here because I've been getting a lot of good feedback. I never did swimwear. Really? I never did swimwear. And when I got the call that we want you to do Tobago Fashion Week. I start sketching, okay. sketching, sketching, sketching swimsuits. Everyone has their own personality and everyone has their own look. What makes it is what you do on the runway. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. love it. I, I don't think we'll do anything else. We decided to launch this line in Tobago. This is our first resort collection. I wanna rip that engine rough. Your body and your best pets mix with Tobago is my country. <laughs> Where else in the world? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm loving it. The whole Tobago experience is just lovely. This is much more than the runway. And imagine it as you can. It's sand between your toes. Fabulous fashion on the, on the waterfront of Pigeon Point Heritage. White Run. sand, mind yes. you. The fashion, the rhythm, the movement of the island. So it's a it's very a tropical big. island lifestyle. That's what I'm inspired to buy too as well. Yeah. The tropical island, beach lifestyle. You know how we do it on Splash, guys. I'm about to get my makeup because I'm going to take one hat off and put on another. So from talking to you guys, the next time I'll see you, I'm going to be on the ramp. So don't go anywhere. You're watching Splash. is inspired from the Caribbean. The inspiration is I wanted to design for plus size women. Okay, well my collection this year it was a swimwear, swimsuit collection, all hand made hand crochet. I use tie-dye, right? All different kinds of dresses, so wear and tie-dye. Well we do a lot of avant-garde type things, so we try to push the limits of fashion with every collection as, as little as it is. Sometimes it's about the cut, yes. the styling. Unconventional materials that we use. Yeah. Well, there was a theme and a sub theme. It was called Dandan Fiesta yes, in Tobago. We refer to dressing up as dressing in your fine Dandan. Yes, we always want to brand it within the context of what and then sell it. So it's a celebration of dressing, and that's why we called it Dandan Fiesta. To be part of the national fashion push, uh, to create something that is unique to Tobago and also unique to Trinidad and Tobago, but coming from the Tobago angle. I found that. I really supported from the beginning having Fashion Week in Tobago. I really enjoyed it. I mean, look at where we are. It's, yeah. it's so beautiful. This is my second time. I was here last year. I had a wonderful experience. I'm glad to be here again. We, we have the natural ambience here to do events like this and better. So that push to bring something to the shores of Pigeon Point Heritage Park and also to bring something to the kids and even the people of Tobago and the, the region and internationally looking in on us is something that you have to do. Honestly, it was a very good, well put together show tonight. My perverted thoughts must be Hey guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this episode of Splash. I know I certainly had a blast taking you through my sister island of Tobago and Tobago Fashion Weekend. It has definitely been an awesome journey. We saw so many amazing designs, not to mention we saw so many beautiful places like the Buka Reef, the Nylon Pool and the Rainforest Reserve. And we are so much bigger, so much better. I am Crystal, you're watching Splash. Welcome back Splashers. 
So Crystal got a chance to catch up with Anya, Romero and the Wadada twins in Tobago for the Tobago Fashion Week. Well, we got a chance to catch up with the Wadada twins as they showcase their collection on the Caribbean Fashion Week here in Jamaica. Let's check it out. Fashion and style is a big part of who you are. To me, fashion is definitely a way for me to express myself. That is an Amharic word for love. The first time the word came into play, I would say, was when Ayana was pregnant and it was going to be the name of her boy child. If it was, if a, boy. It was a boy child. But she had a girl, so the name got freed. And Wadada was just rightly suited. So our first collection was all African prints, all tribal prints. Yeah, it was, I never really said, okay, I want to be a fashion designer. I want to be a, you know what I mean? It was never like that, it just kind of fell into place. I actually studied aeronautics. I have a master's in safety and human factors, and I'm doing fashion, so you never know how it happens. Things take a weird turn. Our second collection, we have a little kind of expanded to more brighter colors, to more eclectic print. It just comes from our basic style, what we would wear, what we would like to see women wear. Music is a definite, definite, definite influence. Music definitely has a big part to play in anything that I do. Music is life, yeah. Just making a woman, all these songs that make a woman feel like she's royal, she's confident, she's She's that woman that the man sings about. And she's royal, yeah, so royal. You wake up in the morning and you turn on music, and it's kind of strange because the music could change your whole personality, could change your whole vibe for the whole day. I could wake up in the morning and turn on the radio and hear a hip hop song, and I would just change Did my vibe all day. Whole day. Yeah. Or I could wake up in the morning and hear Bob Marley, and my vibes would be sweet. So it has a lot to do with everything I do, not just fashion. I guess it kind of keeps you grounded too, in a way. Like, because you hear different messages through different people's music. The music now that I listen to seems to have a message. That's the message. Check the message. It should. Even in fashion, I think with our clothes, we should be able to send a message of this is a lifestyle that is a good lifestyle. And then, it should be adopted by a lot of people. Just making that move to, to keep a positive outlook. And once you carry yourself presently, you can see the confidence of a woman change and see the clothes she wears and who she becomes. A lot of our pieces are very simple structures, simple cuts, but a lot of them are flowing. I think it just comes from taking fashion from royalty. A lot of, you see a lot of queens wearing flowing dresses, flowing gowns, that kind of stuff. It's my personality mesh meshing with Ayana's personality, who's maybe a little more militant than I am. So it kind of gives each other, we give each other a balance when it comes to the piece that we put out. You know it's Wadada, and you know that the woman that's wearing it has a certain confidence and, or feels a certain way. Growing up in Trinidad, I want to say it's like pretty close to. I guess growing up here in Jamaica, we lived in the suburbs, I guess you want to call it, outside of the city, average middle class family. Um, we spent a lot of time on the beach, and us, every Sunday guaranteed my dad is going to take us to the beach. Regular island life, nothing too exciting. Party every now and again, but usually Trinidad is very laid back. I guess because it's such a diverse island, the, the food and the culture is so mixed. So you could go from Monday morning eating doubles to Friday afternoon eating a pilau. You'll have an Indian dish with a slight African mix or vice versa, you know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Right. 
Growing up Rasta in Trinidad, it started off in Trinidad as a fight down as anywhere else. It's only now become very popular. I'm not gonna say it's widely accepted, but it's popular. A lot of people have the locks. Maybe not the lifestyle, but the locks. I started growing my hair in 2006, the end of 2006. Um, a lot of my influence came from Ayana. Just being able to sit down and reason with her, I just kind of felt comfortable and this is the way that I felt I needed to go. I needed this type of lifestyle was the lifestyle that I chose and it works for me. Like You get a feeling and you just know. It's more about people wanting to be natural. It's about not straightening your hair and just wanting to be more earthy, I guess. That's why a lot, a lot of girls do it. But it's cool. If we can reach every single continent, that would be amazing. If we can have a store and a boutique in every continent, that would be amazing. But right now we're just taking it slow and hopefully we'll reach there soon. Hi, I'm Asha. I'm Mayana. And you're watching Splash with Wadada Movement. Movement. Keep it locked. Bless. Do remember to watch Master of the Mix coming soon. Welcome back Splashers, this is Tanisha talking to you. We're still here with Yashi, talking about the Rasta woman story in fashion. So we just heard from the Wadada twins, do you, do you know them? Yes, I'm familiar with them and I've met one of the sisters before. So I can't make all the clothes myself, they can't make all the clothes themselves, you know, it's just more strength. So we're kind of used to Afrocentric fashion being more like mud cloth and you know just strong African prints and boxy, you know boxy cuts, not really very flattery, not really very modern. You don't really want to wear it, you know, you appreciate it but you don't really want to wear it. So I want to take that inspiration and put it into things that we want to wear. We feel proud to be representing Marcus Garvey and looking, you know what I mean, colourful and hip and witted at the same time. Yeah. So that's different for people to be incorporating heroes into fashion. Why? It just happened naturally, I guess. It's what I was interested in. And I always wanted to use prints um, in my clothes. I always wanted to use screen prints. So I guess I just used the prints that I, I like. I like Marcus Garvey. Love Haile Selassie, you know. So those are the things that I represent in the clothes. That's what I want to put out there. And um, for other people who like it, I want them to be able to have it too, you know want to share it. So, so the sisters are strengthening up together, bonding, to make more moves in fashion. So give thanks Yashi for passing through, for spending time here with us on Splash. We will be right back. Check out this music video, sure to make you move. Your body is calling, calling, calling. 